I am from Birmingham, Alabama, Hewitt Town to be specific. Uh, I'm a videographer, uh, web designer, uh, and currently working as production manager at UAB Student Media Department. My father was a, was a big uh, music buff. My mother listened to music all the time, listened to music, cleaned it up around the house. My dad had one of the most amazing record collections that I can still uh, 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 kind of envision. Uh, he turned me on to everything from James Brown to Sly Stone to Prince through Santana. So that's where my that's where my initial love for music came from. I've been married for going on 19 years. Married 18 years would be 19 in May, May 20th next year. Um, I have two daughters, two wonderful daughters, uh, Maya and Nadia. Uh, Maya is my oldest and she just turned 15. Nadia is my youngest, of course, and she's about to turn 14. So, you know, we in, we in our high school years, it's, it's getting real right now. The most traumatic experiences that I've had um, throughout my entire experience. It was the, that was the year, or that was the date that uh, we lost our home to uh, tornadoes. Please take cover immediately. This is a very violent tornado. We lost the shot again. It's going to come back. Lost everything that we, we had then. Um, we barely, I would say we barely got out of the way of the tornado in that we got the notification that the tornado was coming. We were about to get ready to head downstairs to shelter, and that's when the tornado hit. So it hit when we were at the top of the stairs, so we all tumbled down the stairs. I had everything taken from me and kind of realizing what I wanted my path to be. Um, I think I already knew what that was. I was already moving in that direction. Uh, it gave me the courage to actually jump out and do some things on my own, quit my job to, to just start freelancing. Because I figured that uh, if I had almost lost my life, and I know that I'm an entrepreneur at heart, if I had not jumped out and, and took, taken a chance, uh, on myself, then I would probably be, that would be a regret that I would have had. Red Light District was family. Um, Red Light District was was com comprised of the guys that I, I say I grew up with. So, you know, when you're going through a certain era, I grew up in Hueytown, obviously, but during the years where I experienced the most, most growth is when I was with those guys. So uh, they were all part of, of Red Light District. So. The first success that we saw was in 96 with a single called I Know that we released. And it played very well on local radio stations, uh, uh, regional stations as well. Um, and it peaked on, on a couple of national stations also. Now in 1971, the brother was born to pick up the pieces of hip hop use. Uh, the people that made it amused and they damn sure about the new. I think at some point in time, the people were referring to us as like the Birmingham version of Wu-Tang. We had, at, at our peak, we had maybe 14 members uh, all together. The first venture under my, 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 my company's name that I had formed at the time called Black Angel Media. The documentary that I produced uh, the soundtrack for, which was uh, Mr. Dow Has Something to Say, it was an APT documentary, Alabama Public Television, a PBS affiliate. They were looking for someone to produce original music for uh, the film, and I, I got that job based off of my previous experience with Red Light District. Uh, Red Light District was a part of it. As a matter of fact, they probably appear on, a, on at least maybe five of them. So they were there. They were prominent. We all went to the celebration together. Um, but, you know, that was, that was my task, I say. That's ultimately where I'm trying to go with legacy. I need for my legacy to benefit them. Now,